Hey guys, what's going on? Justin Cobb, Stalton Crossan. Playing the NFL, now playing in the PLL. Alright, but one thing we're going to run through real quick, this is for all the football guys. We're going to run through the two different types of stances that you use in the 40 and why you want to use one versus the other one. So the first thing I want to run through is what's called the bunch stance. You see this stance used a lot. We don't really want to use this stance. It's very rare that it works well for people. So we're going to have to do, well, what we're going to have to all do is we're just going to have them demonstrate a bunch stance and a takeoff. And I'm going to explain why the bunch stance, we don't really like it. So as he's setting up, a bunch stance means you're really bunched up and you're tight to this line. All right. A lot of times what the punch stance is going to do, it's going to make this front shin a little bit more vertical, which is going to pop you upright faster. All right, so we'll see him set up in that stance. If he's all bunched up, he feels all scrunched. You can see his shins pointed up, and he's just going to take off. What you see with the bunch stance is you see that vertical shin. All right, that vertical shin makes you upright. It's going to put you in your top speed mechanics quicker, or you're just going to waste time in your actual stance adjusting and leaning forward. So what we want to do is we want to get rid of that wasted time. We don't want you to pop up right fast. With the bunch stance, I've never been a fan of it. I've always felt a lot more powerful and faster coming out from a stance where you're further away from the line, but you have more power and the shin angle is more down instead of vertical, so you can really shoot out. So in the bunch stance, you see I'm here. Everything is right up close to this white line. So when I come up, there's no other option for this shin to be going forward. It has to be very vertical as opposed to down like this. So if I'm here, I just feel like I have no power to shoot forward and out. Watch, I'll do a, uh, a stance here, see if you can see the difference. There's just, there's no, uh, no power in, in terms of being able to drive forward. Now what we want to do is we want to drop into what we call the drive stance. The drive stance is going to be back a little bit more. So you're giving up a little bit of space to generate and focus, or to focus more on an angle. So now we can see right here, all right, as he sets up this front shin angle, we're going to be able to now get it more forward. That's going to tell us his trajectory. We're going to watch him take off. So what that drive stance does is by changing that trajectory and getting all that weight on that front leg, we're able to push out low, get our body into a nice clean straight line and have a really good first step hard take off and it helps the, uh, the progression of the actual 40. So the way I set up for that, start with both feet here on the white line, put my left toe somewhere around the vicinity of my, my right heel, then I get my right knee down somewhere by the middle to the ball of my foot and that's pretty much my distance from the line then you see how far away or how close together you want your feet depending on where you feel comfortable so I'm here this shin is much more forward and it'll allowing me to drive off and this back leg is not as crouched because when this back leg is crouched like this in a bunch stance I have all that time that I have to come out and straighten it. As opposed to being here, this shin's forward, this leg, instead of being bunched, is straighter. And it was just a little bit of bend, kind of like a rubber band, right? So instead of being this bend, it's just a little bit bend, but mostly straight. And it really allows me to, boom, just pop right out. So I'll do one, now full speed, with that stance. And we'll see if you guys can see the difference. <laughs> 